in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your existing CRM online service to the current versions that are available. One of the benefits about having or utilizing Microsoft CRM online is that you get to take advantage of new capabilities that is available that Microsoft puts into the product. So that means Microsoft will update the service or the version of the service at least one time a year. So your CRM administrator, whoever in your organization, can actually schedule a time and date to actually update the service that's available for your employees. And they would do that through the Office 365 portal. And I'll kind of show you how you can do that. There's a couple things you need to be remember uh, with Microsoft CRM. Uh, you can be on the current version and only one version back. If you are on older versions uh, that are, let's say, two versions back, you're going to be forced to update eventually. So, for example, if today you are running CRM 2015 and the current version that is actually available now is 2016, you can go out and schedule your update to update the latest to the 2016 version at any time. If you sit on that old version and we keep updating the service, eventually you're going to be forced to update. So this will be something you'll want to take into consideration, especially if you customize the data or customize the service and you're running it uniquely in your organization. So you're going to want to consult with your Microsoft partner or whoever is helping you with the service. So now I'm going to show you where your CRM administrator can actually go in and schedule the update. Uh, right now I'm in Microsoft CRM. I recommend you usually do it in an in private browser session. This just isolates you away from any other credentials that may be uh, affecting your login. And then they can access the portal easily. I'm going to do this on another tab. They just go to the URL and type in portal.office.com. And if they're already logged into the service, they should easily get in. They won't have to enter their credentials. The Office 365 portal is just where you administer all your Microsoft online services. You can click on the upper left-hand corner here and go to administration. This is also where you would go in and add users, assign licenses, uh, submit your technical support requests if you need to get support from Microsoft. If you scroll down all the way down to the administration section, uh, you're going to see all the services that are available or that you have purchased that you are using. In this scenario, I'm going to use CRM. And then here it's going to take you to the administration center, which shows all of your databases or instances that are available in your organization. So here you can see I have a production instance, which is my primary database, and then I also have a sandbox. In order to schedule my updates for those each of those individual instances, I just hit on the update section, and then we'll go over this in more detail. Okay, um, so now with the um, in the update center or the CRM administration section, I just changed this to a slide deck so you can see how the process is. Um, but you would basically select your instance that you're going to want to update. And you can also select your instance for the sandbox. So you can also schedule your updates individually for all of those. One thing that you can do is you can set up uh, notifications to individuals. Um, not only the CRM administrator, but perhaps other people in your organization who you want to get uh, have emails sent to that are responsible to CRM system sessions or doing updates. You can manually enter their email addresses here, and then they will be sent a notice. Once you've selected the instance you want to update, you're usually going to see this kind of information. It's going to show what current version you are currently on and then what versions are available to you in the future. And then it will also sketch, uh, show you the different time zones because um, these databases are residing in a Microsoft data center, most likely here in North America. So your time zones are going to reflect that. 
And then when you want to schedule your update, you would do this option here that says approve update. When you do approve update, you're actually going to get a schedule. So this is what we call the customer driven update capabilities or customer driven CDU. And it's basically allowing you to schedule a time and date when you want to have your service updated because when we update your service, everything's going to go offline. And also, instead of us forcing all of our customers to update at the same time, it's giving you the convenience of choosing when you want to update. So this is actually where you'll go in and schedule the date and time that you want to update your particular instances. So you can do your preferred date as well as selecting an alternative date. And then you'll get this notification here saying that these are the particular dates or times that you wanted to get set up or approved to do the update. The trick here is that you're going to remember you need to approve this update. See the approve button uh, or approve update button? You're going to need to select that before anything is going to be done. And then your schedule, uh, your service is going to be available, meaning your update time has been set up and you're all set to go. You are going to get notifications in email about this as well. After you set up your time, whoever was set up as the notification person in that email box, you're going to be getting notifications, at least emails, before the update. So you next will need to educate your employees about the service being down and then allowing all of those people uh, off the service so they can update the uh, online services. And then once it's complete, you'll be getting notifications going forward. If you have questions about this, I recommend you really talk to your Microsoft CRM administrator internally, or if you have a Microsoft partner, uh, consult with them, especially with these updates. If you've customized your um, service with forms and maybe you have some unique workflows or you're utilizing some third-party products, um, all those are going to be affected. So the normal process is usually you want to update your sandbox first with the latest version, then do your testing in the sandbox environment, make sure everything works well, and then you would actually update your production or live instance, and then that way it won't affect any of your services. If you have questions about that, you can definitely talk to me as your customer success manager as well. Hope you found this beneficial. Thank you.